All right, guys, so today's video, we're gonna talk about possibly turning a insane asylum into a prepper community. Now, clearly, I'm not supposed to be in here, but whatever, fuck it. Um, as you can see, uh, this is an old facility. There are rooms that I'm gonna show you in a couple minutes, but I just wanted to see what you guys would think about making something like this into a proper community. So here are some rooms right here that I feel you can absolutely clean out, repaint if you have to, and store beds in here. And you could probably get bunk beds in here, maybe triple because the ceiling is so high and you get three to a room. This is a prepper community, and I would only do this uh, for, you know, like prepper families. You put three to a room, whatever it is. But, um, and you would take, I guess, the lock mechanism off the door so people are not, you know, locked inside. Um, you could make this area, clean this out, break it down. You can break it down and keep it open so people can hang out store gear, whatever it is. Now, the proper community would have to be very, very big for this to work because there is a lot of real estate in this building to cover when it comes to security. So for most, some people are gonna say, hell no, but it was haunted. Well, if you occupy with enough people, you don't have to worry about it being haunted. Okay, maybe that's a bullshit fucking Way of looking at it but nonetheless um this is definitely an area you can this is definitely an area you can you can definitely uh do something with but again you have to have enough people to run it because you have so many security problems here let's see this next room now, I'd like for you guys to let me know what you think about using an area like this or a building like this for a proper compound or community. Now, keep in mind, hopefully you have one established and you don't have to use one of these buildings uh, as such. This is something like you fall back on or, or you don't have uh, a, a very good plan, right? And you come in here and you use a place like this for your, again, your community. All right, so, like I said, I, as far as this building goes, and it, and for some of you, oh, is it haunted? I don't think it is. There's no, uh, there's no feeling in here, right? But I passed the building where I had that feeling, and I was like, holy shit. But this one's all right, but anyway, still, now, listen, to be said, guys, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in a building like this. You have to, uh, hold on. You have to keep that in mind, too. If you occupy a building like this, you absolutely have to do a lot of work, and you do the work in stages. So that's the other thing. You don't try to clean the whole building out in one. You, you immediately go to a, this is an old bathroom that you would absolutely use as a bathroom. You absolutely use it as a bathroom, fix it up a little bit, right? Clearly you would, you would use it. And and yeah, so this is what, this is what you can do with this place. But again, stages, right? This building's so big, I would start with, and not even like a whole wing of a building. I would start with just the floor I'm in an immediate area that I'm occupying. And then, I would start expanding the more people we get. Now you could fix your immediate area up first and then start expanding. So when you get more people, that's less work to do, but, and it keeps you busy, especially during an apocalyptic uh, nightmare. But um, yeah, this building is huge. And this is just the one that I was able to get into because the gate was like wide open. I'm like, oh, this says welcome. <laughs> and so I walked in. It's an old fireplace here. Hopefully if it's open all the way up, you can do something with it. Let's 
see, you're going back to the uh, to the beginning. But yeah, what do you guys think, guys, on turning an insane asylum or an abandoned hospital into a uh, prepper commune if you had to? Please leave your comments in the uh, comment section below. And other than that, guys, um, I'm gonna make my way out of this building before I get killed and raped and not in that order. All right, guys, talk to you later.